Hello, this is Texas Tour Review, and today we have Sarah Connor from Terminator 2. Uh, this is a figure made by NECA. Uh, really nice sculpt on it, as typically as always. As you can see, yeah. She comes in a box, which is a, uh, a book cover box. It has a little flap with the Velcro on it, which you can open up, and you get a different picture there. And you get, uh, there's, there's a piece of cardboard box in there, which is on that side I opened it. And, yeah, it has, uh, has a desert scene in there, which is pretty cool. And that's where all the accessories come in. And on the side of the box you get some artwork. And the other side you get some artwork. Top, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And on the bottom... I paid twenty four ninety nine from for her, and she came from Hastings. From the look at that price tag, uh, you get the credits to the people that created the figure, which I think is an awesome touch. It's kind of like if you have a problem with this figure, just contact these people. Don't blame us. <laughs> but no, no, they always do a really good job uh, most of the time. So, yeah. Might as well give credit where credit's due. This is like art at work here. This is the sculpture, in essence. But yeah, then on the back you get the different things you could do with the figure, which surprisingly they didn't show one of the heads <laughs> that came with it. And you get a write-up. You want to pause it, you can read all that. But yeah, very, very, very nice box for this figure which I can't figure out for the life of me why they don't um, all come in one type of box that's something that befuddles me like sometimes you get the book cover box sometimes you get this and then sometimes you'll get a card back and then sometimes you get that plastic clamshell thing that you have to cut uh, to get it open but uh, really love this box, so I'm keeping it. Um, onto the figure, she does come with two extra heads, which if you want to look at them, let's see if we can take a close up. She got the crazy face going with her hair down. that one and you also get the ponytail headed face which that is a really good Sarah Connor mold so yeah oh she also comes with a pistol Which typically I don't keep on her. I usually keep that in the box so it doesn't get lost. Um, onto the figure itself. Uh, Sarah Connor can pull off her head. And you can trade out the head. You see where this pegs into the base of her head there. And it is tight because I have not done this before. Uh, yeah, you could change out her head so she has sewn her face without the sunglasses. She does come with her shotgun, sawed off shotgun thing, which this is movable. It's a really nice mold, good paint details in there, which is very nice. Uh, additionally, she comes with her survival knife, which goes into its sheath knife holder. Yeah. Uh, this is not so much of a rubbery plastic, but this is. I think that's a separate piece that they glued on there. So... And 
She also comes with her automatic rifle, which is beautifully done. Let me take a look at that with my fingers out of the way. Yeah. So she's armed to the teeth. Uh, as far as articulation goes, Sarah Connor can look up a little bit. Sarah Connor can look down. Sarah Connor can cock her head to the side, that side. Sarah Connor can turn her head, and I'm pretty sure she can do an exorcist. <laughs> move there uh, her shoulder can move up about that high and she gets the 360 swivel uh, for her elbow her elbow only moves up about that far you don't get a full 90 out of that um, but it does swivel And uh, typically on the swivel, you get a swivel here on NECA figures. And I kind of appreciate that they didn't on this one because I think it would have taken away from the look of the figure. So I do understand why they did not do that on this one. Um, so, um, yeah, you, are, you get a little bit of tilt in here also. That's something to, to note. Um, now, this... Uh, what is that, vest uh, deal. It is made of rubber over the body, and uh, it does give way for the articulation, as you can see. Uh, she does get articulation at the waist where she can do an ab crunch. And she can also... Ah, there's two of those in there. If I'm, Yeah, yeah, they did a good job hiding that. There's uh, articulation up at her uh, uh, under her chest area and then there's articulation at the waist so that's two separate joints there which that's pretty cool they did a really 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 good job hiding that because I have n I've had this figure for a while actually and I've never seen that so um, it's pretty cool articulation on the pockets there I'm not trying to be a perv touching her butt but that's a pretty cool detail and same with here yeah um, as far as leg articulation, she can almost do the splits. She gets about that far. And she can hold that pose. That's pretty cool. And you can go forward about that far. And her butt is kind of rubbery, so uh, it makes way for the articulation. So she can go back about that far. You also get a little bit of swivel up there at the thigh. So she can turn that. For the knee, you get a little bit less than a 90. And you do get a swivel joint there as well. Then, you get a swivel at the foot and a rock which you can go that far and that far let's see if you see that and you also get a really good ankle tilt you do get a really good ankle tilt out of that so if you're wanting her to be in her Rambo-esque pose she can hold that stance Really nice figure. I gotta give kudos to Neck on this one. They they really did a good job. So I would definitely recommend this. And at $24.99, that's a really good mold. Really good articulation, a lot of accessories. Um for height, let's see. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh she comes in at about six and a half inches and for some comparisons we have Arnold Schwarzenegger here and we have her nemesis 
T800. So you can see how she compares in size to them. Additionally, we have the Predator. <laughs> He's huge. Yeah, so I definitely recommend purchasing her. Um, $24.99, excellent mold, excellent articulation, good execution. I didn't really see any flaws in it. Um, yeah, I have no complaints whatsoever thinking about that. Uh, this is Texas Tour Review, and if you like our reviews, please click like, and please subscribe to our page to see more of them. Thank you.